Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Crafting with V. If you're new here, welcome. So glad you stopped by and if you're returning, thank you so much for returning. Anyway, today what I'm doing is I am doing a small Timu and box and bagging, whatever you want to call it. I've already got them all out of the bag though. But it's this is mainly just accessories stuff that I decided that I wanted. It wasn't a need. It was just a want. And whenever I went into Timu, this is what, these are the things that I actually went in there to buy. Needless to say, I bought a lot more that will come at a different time. But anyway, let's go ahead and switch over to the other camera in just a second. Okay, I'm going to pause it real quick. So, what, sorry, I've got a little bit of allergies and stuff going on today. But the first thing that I got was this little mini printer. And I wasn't sure how well it would work out, but I have figured out that I really like it. Um, whenever it came, whenever I pulled it out of the box, it did have this paper in it. This is just regular paper. Right now, I have a roll of the sticker paper in here. I'm going to go ahead and take out the sticker paper because I don't want to waste it. Because I am going to show you a little bit of how this works. Um, for the price that I paid for it, I think it was like $21 at the time. It is not that bad. What you had to do was you had to download an app for it. Which, let me find it real quick. It's called Funprint. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It's, and you can go in here and you can scan text. You can print pictures. Uh, you can make a to-do list. All this stuff is stuff that you can do from this app. Um, what I'm going to show you first <clears throat> is I am going to do the picture print, okay? And let me see if you can see that, but my light seems to be glaring too much, but it says photograph on there or select picture. Okay, I'm going to go to photograph. And it brings up the camera on my release paper we are going to take a picture of that okay and then it has right here where you can adjust the size you can pull these little bars up or down well that one isn't working okay so that you can just get the part of the picture that you want you can adjust that around it and then you click check mark and you know what i've got to turn this on i don't think i turned it on okay so hopefully it'll connect by itself but anyway we'll see if it doesn't connect by itself i'll have to go to a different screen on here but anyway, you hit print. There it connected. And then you hit print again right here. And it's going to print out a little black and white picture of this little frog that I took a picture of. Okay. So. There is the little print printer print out of the little frog. 
the reason that I got this was because I used this sticker paper on it. Right here, this is sticker paper. Okay, and I wanted this because I do separate my drills and my paintings from each other. But I can take a picture of the painting and it will print out a little stick, black and white sticker of the painting that I can put on the drills. That way I can easily determine which set of drills I need for a painting. That is the reason that I bought this. And is it the best quality printer? No. Uh, there are some that you can get on Amazon that I'm sure print a little bit better than this. But for what I want it for, this works out absolutely perfect. And this one happened to have came with these markers. I haven't even opened them. I don't plan on it. They're just plain little markers. And it came with, which one of these? This, which is five rolls of the sticky paper. And then five rolls of the regular paper. And then it came with the roll of paper in it. These five rolls of sticky paper, I bought myself. So I really like this little printer. I'm going to go ahead and turn it off so I don't waste the battery. And I'll switch it back to the, to the sticky paper before I put it up. That way I don't forget about it. Anyway, this is one of the accessories that I got. I really do like that. And if I have any trouble out of it in the future, I'll let you know. But as of right now, I really like it. This I have not even opened yet. But this is just some little metal placers. Um, and they've got a bunch of the little seals that go on there to make it to where they stick in your pen a little bit better. This is a six placer. And then it's got a bent single placer. A five placer. A ten placer. And that's got a bunch of the seals stuck in there, but I'll take them out later. And then a four placer, which this will probably be one that I will use. The two placer will be one that I will use. Let's go ahead and put these down. Okay. Two placer will be one that I'll use. I use my two placer all the time. This is a nine placer. I'm going to try to use this three-placer. Whether or not that happens, I don't know. And then I've got a single-placer. And... Okay, this is a round single-placer. And it looks like this one is made for square drills. I'm not sure. Let me see if I can get that up there so you can see it. But that one is made for square drills. I don't know about that. I'll probably just use the round one. And then these last ones are a 7, an 8, and a metal straightener. Okay, I probably will not use all of these, but I will probably use the four, three, two, and single placers. Other than that, the rest of these, I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet. I won't really need the rest of them. 
I really don't use a straightener that often, so I don't know if I'll keep this or not. But I mainly got it for those other ones. We will see. Okay. And all of these products I will try to link in the description. This right here, I think whenever I got it, it was pretty cheap. It, it And the reason I got it was because I thought I'd lost my other ones that I had like this, but then I found them. Oops. But I wanted it for the container to keep my wax in. It's just a little container that I can put my wax in whenever I'm on the go. I have been using this to keep my wax in. Right there is the one that I've been using. Okay, it came with three pieces of wax, which just plain wax. No, nothing special about it. I'm going to put those three pieces over there. But I mainly got it for the little container. And I don't think that that was more than a dollar or so. Okay, and the last thing that I got was this. And I don't know how often I'll use this since I started using release papers. But it's just a little blade to kind of cut your plastic or whatever but whenever you let go of it the blade goes back in the little little thing but it's in the shape of a little bone so cute anyway these are just the accessories that i am doing today um i will do another video on the paintings that i got but they will come out over time um anyway i just wanted to show you this stuff and hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up like subscribe comment let me know what you think but we got our little mini printer with the rolls of paper i got my multi-placers and then i got this little cutting blade. Anyway, that's all I got for today. I will see you next time. Take care and have a good day. Bye.